There is no exit. There is I'm no tied exit. in forever. I, I, there, there, nobody, there's nobody, it's not a traditional business. It's a totally different business to anything else that's out there. And in crypto land, there's no escape. And you're building like a new like paradigm by saying there's no exit, right? That's really yeah. different from the traditional space. And I'll ask you a lot about Electronium, the ETN token, a little bit later yeah, during yeah, the interview. Yeah. And we want to hear all the updates and the roadmap. Super excited about that. But first and foremost, we were kind of chatting about DeFi at the moment. And it's funny because you have a bit of a skeptical view on, you know, DeFi and yield farming. And obviously it's that topic is everywhere. DeFi bubble, yeah, DeFi this, is. that, that. I'd love to hear your thoughts because you have a really interesting angle to it. <laughs> well, I'm not sure it's that interesting. It's more, it's more of a uh, of a stark fear, really. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's like the deer in the headlights. Uh, in the early days of crypto, um, we, we saw some horror stories of, um, uh, you, you know, uh, out and out uh, blockchain mistakes in, in terms of DeFi. Nearly all of it's running, of course, uh, in Ethereum's ERC-20 space, and those contracts have to be uh, written ex with, with, uh, you know, with, with great detail, attention to detail. Quite often they're not, uh, and we've seen some horror stories already with uh, tokens locked up and, uh, and, and lost funds, and people are risking quite a lot uh, for a potential yield. Uh, and I hope that they get that yield and it all works out well, of course. But uh, right back when, you know, we're, we're, we're old hands in crypto. And if you don't own the keys, you don't own the crypto. It's largely true of if you are one of a multi key signature set and you don't have the others, you don't own the crypto as well. Uh, and so I'm, I'm a bit wary of DeFi as it stands. It's in its infancy and uh, it's a babe in arms. And we know what babe in arms do quite regularly with both parents. <laughs> Uh, something explodes out oh. in, a, in a surprising way. And that's what's happening with DeFi at the moment. <laughs> that's a really interesting view. I love the analogy as well. And a lot of people are talking about the risks these days, which is great because, you know, in every bubble, there are lots of risks and hopefully some great technology will surface. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, poo-pooing the whole thing. Just that it's early days and you should manage your risk. Manage your risk. But I think you have a really good point about not your keys, not your coins, because in this whole yielding kind of world, we, we don't really know how much yield we're going to get. We don't really know where the tokens are. Is that your biggest concern right at the moment that's kind of holding you back from entering this whole yield farming? Thing? Uh, yeah, and uh, yes. Uh, so so uh, there's some dangers in, in that respect. You don't know what yield you're going to get. So you don't know whether you're going to end up with the tokens back even. That, that's the reality. You are risking your tokens and, and that's fine. That's what you're doing when you put your money in the bank. Not that you get any interest in a bank now, but do you remember when uh, Iceland, everyone was putting their money into Iceland. I had friends of mine had money in all the Icelandic banks because they were paying 11%, 14%. Why were they paying that? Well, they were paying it because there was a systemic risk. And when the systemic risk came along and the Icelandic banks collapsed, uh, they found that they'd lost their capital. Uh, so my fear for DeFi is that. Um, uh, and alongside that, there are, you need to be very careful about which DeFi projects, right? There, there, there are, there's DeFi and there's DeFi. Um, and you look at some of the monster successes of um, like the decentralized exchange, uh, Uniswap, which has just been an extraordinary yeah, story. Growth. Extraordinary story. Yeah. And, and I love it. So that's, you know, you've got these, you've got these wonderful things coming out as well. And the more decentralization there is, the better as far as I'm concerned. So all those things are great. And at the other end of the scale, you look through some of the top 100 projects on CMC right now, you're going to buy some DeFi projects that I wouldn't put my money in. I, I'm, I don't really think you should, but people don't do their research. You know, yeah. they just, they take things at face value and off it goes. Sometimes yeah. even ridiculous things where people tweet and say, oh, I'll send me your Bitcoin and I'll double it. You know, half of the Twitter sphere tweeted this out and people fired off their crypto. Yeah, Elon Musk and everybody, right? All the accounts were hacked yeah. and yeah. So, you know, if people are, sorry if you're one of those people, but if people are daft enough to do that, then they're definitely daft enough to get pulled into a DeFi scam. So uh, be very cautious with your crypto, guys. You know, it's hard earned. You, uh, you, you've earned it, you've got it, you own it. So make sure you, you hold it and use it wisely.